2024 presidential election where he is the front runner of the GOP. See him as the next president at least. Um, and this could be a way for them to help him out of a financial jam. Obviously, legally and financially speaking, the former president is facing an uphill battle. $540 million is nothing to sneeze at, but I am curious, are there any workarounds, any loopholes here? So I definitely think, you know, first thing, first things first, he could find a bank that isn't registered by or registered with or chartered by the New York Department of Financial Services. Uh, that would be the easiest way out. So if he can find a bank that's willing to loan him the money, he could do that. Um, the second thing he could do is uh, go to a fellow friendly, high net worth individual. He's got plenty of rich friends. Um, some of those friends are also political supporters of his who want to make sure that he's the next president or want to see him as the next president at least. Um, and this could be a way for them to help him out of a financial jam. Um, and then the final thing is, you know, there may be a foreign entity or another, um, you know, it doesn't just have to be an American bank that isn't in New York. It could be a, a bank from another country or another financial institution from another country that might be able to uh, help out the once and potentially future president. As we all are well aware, this comes against the backdrop of the 2024 presidential election, where he is the front runner of the GOP nomination. And just a few days ago, he won pretty handily in the South Carolina primary against Nikki Haley, as we know that is her home state. So I am curious, politically, is this money, are these legal uh, challenges making an impact? My, this is my opinion here, right? I'm not a, uh, I'm not a pundit, I'm not a political analyst, but um, I, my, my reading of things is that these cases against him are pretty baked into the electorate's impression of him already. Um, and as you, as you mentioned, you know, he just won pretty handily in South Carolina um, against Nikki Haley, her home state, I should add. Um, and uh, so that, that's, that's pretty notable. That said, I do know that polling shows if, uh, he's got plenty of other legal cases against him, right? And polling shows that uh, if any of these criminal cases against him result in a conviction, that could lead to some of his supporters backing away or switching their support. So um, there's definitely some risk for him politically in some of the other cases. I don't know whether there's as much risk exists for him here. Kyle Mullins, per usual, thank you so much for coming on, sharing your reporting. I know we will be talking to you again soon. Um, and then the final thing is, you know, there may be a foreign entity or another uh, financial institution from another country that might be able to uh, help out the once and potentially future president nomination. And just a few days ago, he won pretty handily in the South Carolina primary. Obviously, legally and financially speaking, the former president is facing that these cases against him are pretty baked into the electorate's impression of him already.